Grade 7 math, number 9.2D, compare the area of two circles. Here we have the square unit area of our circle here, and the circumference going all the way around the outside edge. Well, we know we can find the area of a circle by using the formula A equals pi times radius squared. And that our answer has to be in square units, and we need to use the approximate symbol because pi is not exactly 3.14 or 22 sevenths, is it? We can compare the area of two circles whether they're side by side or concentric. Concentric circles are two or more circles that have the same center. One circle is inside the other circle and they have the same center point. It's like a dartboard or like a bullseye target. Those are concentric circles. Here's two circles that are side by side. This one has a three inch radius, this one has a six inch radius. How do you think they're going to compare to area? The six inch one is double the radius of the purple one, isn't it? All right, well, find the area of the pink circle. Here's our area formula. So because its radius is six inches, we're gonna do six times six for the radius squared. And then we multiply it by pi, 3.14. 3.14 times 36 is 113.04 square inches or inches squared. That's the area of this one. It's 113 and 4 one-hundredths inches squared, okay? So now we're going to find the area of the purple circle. It's got a 3-inch radius, so 3 times 3 is 9. We multiply that by pi, 3.14, and get 28.26. Wow, that's a lot smaller than 113, isn't it? 28.26. It's not double, is it? The pink circle's radius is twice as big as the purple circle's radius, six inches versus three inches, but its area is four times larger. Look at the area of the purple one is 28.26. If we multiply that by four, it's the 113.04. That's the area of the large one. It's multiplied by four. When a radius doubles, the area quadruples. It's four times bigger. Okay, now let's take a look at these concentric circles. We've got a little 3-inch diameter circle inside of a 15-inch diameter larger circle. These are concentric. They share the same center point and one is inside the other. If a small inner circle has a 3-inch diameter and the outer circle has a 15-inch diameter, what fraction of the, is the area of the small circle to the large circle? Now you're going to think 3 times 5 is 15, so it's 1 fifth, but mm-mm-mm. Let's see what happens. So we think the diameter is three inches for the small circle. So its radius is half of three inches. It's 1.5 inches. The diameter for the large circle is 15 inches. So its radius is half of 15. It's 7.5. Now I know you're thinking 1.5 is one fifth of 7.5, but mm -mm. let's see what happens. So here's the circle area formula. We know 1.5 is the radius for the small one, and we do 1.5 times 1.5 for the radius squared. That's 2.25. Now we do 7.5 times 7.5 for the radius of the large one, and that comes out as 56.25. See? 2.25 and 56.25. All right? So now, this, these two numbers are what we would need to multiply to pi, right? And then we'd find the area of each one, but we could go that route and do all that extra work. But because they're both supposed to be multiplied by pi, the ratio is the same if we don't. We can just say pi times 2.25 over pi times 56.25. It's going to reduce to 1 25th. See? Even if I did multiply them by pi, the ratio would still be 1 25th. Now, why is that? Well, if I had 1 over 2, and I multiplied both of them by 2, then I'd have 2 over 4. And it's the same ratio. This is still half. So by, because we, we would be multiplying them both by pi, it's the same as if we didn't. See? Over here, we had to multiply them to themselves. So that was different. We had to do that to expand the exponent. Okay? So we now know that the little circle is 1 25th of the larger circle. 
that means you could fit 25 of these little guys inside of that circle. Now that makes more sense than just five, doesn't it? All right, don't forget to hit the like button if my videos are helping you. It's the only way I know that I'm making any progress with you. And don't forget, you can become a monthly patron on patreon.com and that Joanne School is now on Twitter. I can actually talk to you there and send you photos. I did that to one student already. And I'll see you next video. Bye.